Hello. Hello. Bye. All right, now this is pretty cool. You can now take a selfie and turn it into a cinematic masterpiece. Now this is done using a brand new feature inside of Mid Journey V7, which now allows you to create consistent characters. And as you can see, I've had a ton of fun creating all of these different images. Now, luckily for you, I found two super easy ways to do this, even if you have no idea how to prompt images. So if you're a creator or brand looking to make some mind blowing visuals, this video is definitely for you. So let's jump right into it. Okay, now for this first method, we actually wanna go ahead and start off in Mid Journey and we wanna be on the Explore page. Now from here, you can actually go ahead and search for any image you want in this search bar. So let's go ahead and find a Viking portrait. Now all you have to do is find an image that you really like and go ahead and click on it. Now on the right side, you'll notice that you have your prompts. Now this is what we're actually gonna go ahead and click on and you'll see that that auto fills inside of the search bar. Now from here, all we have to do is go ahead and click on Add images, then Omni reference, and then we just want to go ahead and drag in our image just like this. Then you'll see that your image has now been added. Now, this is what actually creates the consistent character. Now, you can go ahead and click generate straight away, or you can go ahead and change a few more settings. So, depending on your aspect ratio, you can go ahead and slide this right here to give a desired image size. Now, this one is pretty important. I played around with it quite a bit. You have your standard and then you have your raw. Now, the easiest way to explain the difference here is raw basically gives it a very unfiltered look and makes it look a lot more realistic, whereas standard applies a few different styles so you get more of an aesthetic look so select whichever option best applies to you and now from here you can also change one more important setting so it's very small but this is actually the omni strength so it basically determines how much it's going to take of your character. Now, if you're doing people, they actually recommend to keep it to 100, but I've played around with it and put it to 200, 150, and the generations still look really good. The lower you go, the less consistent it's gonna be, and the more you go, the less consistent it's gonna be. So you have to kind of find the right balance. But once you've gone ahead and done that, you just click on generate, and then boom, you're gonna see that it's created a very similar image, but the difference here is it's actually taken your reference image and made that character into that image, which is super cool. Now, a little later on in this video, I'm actually gonna show you how you can enhance these images even further to make them look a lot more realistic. And then I'm also gonna show you a couple of tools to actually take that image and turn it into a video, like you saw at the start of this video. But let me quickly show you the second method, and this one is actually really cool, and you gotta trust the process. So you're gonna start off by heading over to ChatGPT. Now from here, you wanna go ahead and upload your portrait that you're using, and then you wanna enter in this prompt. I'll leave it down in the description so it's easy for you to use. But basically all it is, is describe the facial features and how you see in this image to help me prompt the images better. Once it's given you those results, you then wanna input this second prompt, which again, it'll be in the description. And it's basically telling ChatGPT to take into consideration all the facial features and hairstyles that we just had. But then we wanna go ahead and create a bunch of different themes for our mid journey prompt. So I've just entered in a few here. You can change them to whatever you want. We've got sci-fi, futuristic, Vikings, Romans, hyper-realistic, all of that good stuff. And then this last bit is optional, but I just put, I'm also using V7 and I want a 16 by nine aspect ratio. So that's what AR is. You can change that to nine by 16 or whatever aspect ratio you want. And V7, the only reason I've done that is because if I don't include that, it puts V6 for some reason. Um, I guess ChatGPT doesn't realize that there's mid journey V7. Um, so you can go ahead and add that if you want. It's completely optional. Now once you've hit enter, you'll see you have all of these different prompts. Now this is where the fun part goes. Head back to mid journey and all you have to do is click on the search box Paste in your prompt, and again, you want to select your image, then choose the Omni reference, add your image, and then again, you can choose the standard or raw, select your aspect ratio if you haven't done so already, then go ahead and hit generate, and you'll see you get some awesome images that look like that. But that's the basics of using the new feature for consistent characters inside of Mid Journey, but now I'm gonna quickly show you a few extra tips, so if you want to enhance your images, you'll notice that some of the images that you generate will have a little bit of a softer look, the skin will look quite soft and unrealistic or unnatural, so what we wanna go ahead and do is upscale our image. Now, the tool that I usually use is Magnific, but that is a little bit pricey. And I actually found out that FreePick has Magnific built in and you get a few free daily generations 
which is really awesome. So I'll leave a link to that in the description if you wanna check out FreePick. But basically all you have to do is head over to the AI suite, then select the image upscaler. Then you wanna go ahead and upload your image. And you wanna make sure you leave everything as normal, but what you do wanna do is in the prompt box, you wanna paste this in. So again, this will be in the description down below so it's easy for you to use. And this is basically gonna tell the upscaler to give it a lot more detail and bring back those facial features that you would usually get in portraits. And as you can see, the before and after, it looks a lot better. Now for our final step, we're gonna animate our image into a video. Now, if you do have a free pick plan, they actually have AI video generators built inside the AI suite, which is super awesome. So I'll quickly show you how to use that. And there is a really cool feature inside of here, which you'll see. So head over to the video generators. Now, all you have to do is upload your image and it's gonna automatically detect and figure out which AI model is gonna be best to use. And you'll also notice that it automatically gives you a prompt for your video, which is really awesome, which a lot of AI video generators don't do. Now, with all of that said, I do think Kling AI has the best image to video model, and they also have free generations every single day. So I'll leave a link to that in the description down below, and I'm gonna quickly show you how to use it. You just need to go ahead and sign in. Now you need to click on the AI videos. Then it's as simple as dragging and dropping your image. Then you can give it a quick prompt if you want, like a dolly zoom or rotating. Then you wanna go ahead and click generate, and boom. You've got an AI video in just a couple of minutes. It's super easy and the results look really good. And there we go, that's a quick workflow on how to create consistent characters and turn them into images and videos. You can also use these with products, which is really cool. So if you have a brand and wanna create some awesome assets, you can use this exact same workflow. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. We've got a bunch of other AI tool videos if you wanna check them out. And if you did like this video, then smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already for more awesome AI videos.